Hello everybody, this is Nuzcraft, and welcome back to some Cogmind. Uh, today, we are going to try and make it into the lower caves. If we look right here, we've got an exit to the lower caves. That is where we want to be, but if you remember last episode, we just got in a fight somewhere around here with some big peoples, and we lost the majority of our propulsion. We have an improved tread over here, so we can get that attached. So, what we're going to try and do, improved light cannon, is we're going to try and recoup a little bit, get some propulsion and some backup propulsion. We can probably drop a significant number of these guns. Um, and we're going to make our way into the lower caves. We're probably going to hover in this area around here. Um, See, we do have an exit down there that we don't really care about, um, but we're gonna hover. We're gonna hover around here and see if we can't find some uh, legs, or we might just grab a couple. I would like some treads, but we might grab some backup um, reels if we really need to. Ion can. Oh, oh. I have never used one of these before. An armored huge wheel. Look at this. I think their uh, their coverage is usually pretty high. Takes two propulsion slots. So let's go ahead and. We're gonna drop this. Yeah, we're gonna drop both of these guys. Spread laser, flat cannon. Oh, we've got programmers heading our way. So we're gonna go ahead and equip. Um, let's go with these these guys. Beam rifle and the electro laser. Just for funsies, um, because we we do have two improved heat sinks. Let's go ahead and move these guys down here. And we've got our armored huge wheel. So now we're bicycle bot. Rolling around. Uh, speed is 110. Speed is 182. Even overweight. This is good. This is good. Um, Let's go ahead and pick this guy up, this ion cannon, and then let's pop out this way. Oh, there is a garrison right over there. Proof melee analysis suite. Chain sword. I think chain sword versus axe. Axe is worse. Very nice. Let's go down this way. What are these things? Do they blow up? No, not really. Okay. Yep. Ooh. In here we've got ah, a couple advanced treads. That's what I want to see. And targeting computer. Great sword. I think great sword takes two hands, right? Yep, two handed great sword. Uh, none of this stuff is really holding my fancy. Um, I think what I'm going to do is. And drop these two guys. So we've got two backup treads, two backup advanced treads, which is pretty good. We're gonna keep rolling around on wheels. Um, I think everything else is okay. Hopefully we don't run into too much crazy trouble when we're in those caves. Um, oh, there's armored treads too. So we're gonna pick those guys up as well. 
go in and drop for those. We're going to keep the EMP blaster and the rocket launcher. Those are going to be really nice in the caves. Flat gun, maybe. Shock rifle. Maybe it's just this electro laser. I think it's this electro laser. Nope. Heavy EM pulse gun. This one's going bye bye. All right, so now we have the option to either make a run for the exit or wait for the programmers. Um, the programmers showed up almost a hundred turns ago, a little over a hundred turns ago. You can see right here, turn 7317, and we just did turn 7432 on 7433. So I think we might just chill in here for a little bit and wait for the programmers to show up because programmers, as we can see there, have perfect tracking. Are we hidden? Maybe. Uh, oh, hold on. Options. Tactical HUD is on. Log calculation details full. Auto sorting is off. Click walls to target. Mm, yes. That should be better. Hey, look, we took him out. Oh no, he's running away. Too worried about that because we're going to be leaving. All right, so we're in the lower caves. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a sensor array. I could have gone and tried to find one, but I wasn't too too worried about it. Um, if we take a look. Caves are pretty tall and they're pretty long, so we're going to want to head this direction try and find an exit into what will be the next level of set caves. Um, I'm totally fine staying low if we can. Sometimes you just can't. The caves have really interesting generation. Um, make it a little bit difficult. We are running low on matter, so World map confirmed, sublevel 7 Zion, which is where we are. We're on sublevel 7 Zion. So, uh, the unvisited storage and Zion. We are in need of matter, um, which means that these Samaritans actually quite nice. They have treads as well. We might pick some of those up. I'll go back to battery. So that was good. Medium treads. Let's see. What can we drop? Well, we have three things of treads. I think we'll be okay. We have three tread backups. Yeah, they don't have much integrity either. We kind of did a number on them. Um, let's see. There are also some kind of interesting things that can happen in the caves 
um, in terms of like special encounters that I'm just not too familiar with. These guys. What does this mean? Depending on their design, robots may be more or less likely to be affected by a certain type of damage. Negative resistance indicate weakness, and therefore greater damage from that source. All right, so let's hit them with the EMP blaster. Uh, it's also kind of nice because it can disable the self-destruct sequence in some of their parts. That's good. And they can blow up a little bit. This seems less good. That's not bad though. Really don't want to lose that EMP blaster. That's okay. We have backup. Oops. Um, let's go back to There we go. So that did not go as well as I wanted it to, uh, nearly at all. Um, but we still have a rocket launcher, which is good. And then we get all of this matter to pick up. There's another improved heat sink. Let's go ahead and grab it. Grab this guy. We're more likely to need the, the heat sinks than we are the legs, but in any case, we're gonna go back and grab those treads that we left behind, uh, because why not? We don't really need the battery, but we also don't need all of these heat sinks. So let's put that on there, and on here, then we should be good to go. Also, this little sub area should be pretty much clear of enemies. Now that we've done our due diligence. Um, I'd like to once again highlight that I'm using the sleepy theme. One of the new features from Beta 5 was the ability to, to kind of put a filter over uh, the colors of Cogbind. Um, and the theme that I chosen was the sleepy theme, which kind of softens the palette a little bit. Um, it also makes it a little bit easier to see places that you've explored in the past, but um, aren't actually in right now. So like in previous previous runs when I've done the caves, I've had to like really squint down here to see to see what happened, like where I've been in the caves. Um, but now it's fairly obvious, which is really nice. We are trying to avoid detection as much as possible, but there's a door and I like doors. It's from war.sys. I don't think there's any manual commands that are good to put in there. We're going to open it though. Ooh, so we've got an improved particle charger, which increases energy gun damage. That is pretty cool since we're using some energy guns. Force field blocks 50% damage. Heavy machine gun, rating 5. Kinetic weapon is pretty great. 
and a makeshift terrain scanner, which I actually do want to pick up. There's also an EM shield. Okay, so let's see. I don't, you know, coming back, we have four treads back here. Don't need this guy. I do want this heavy machine gun for sure. Um, the particle charger seems nice, but I don't think I want to put it in, if that makes sense. Um, thinking about my spacing, I have two improved heat sinks. I've got one as backup. Uh, I'm just going to attach this makeshift terrain scanner um, to get a little bit of terrain scanning. And the EM shields seem pretty nice. That's the force field. 50% damage for energy loss. I don't think I really have the energy to spare. I kind of want to pick up this particle charger. But I don't really have that many energy guns. With, with that switch, well, I do have this heavy assault rifle. I'm going to drop this. And then I'm going to throw this heavy machine gun on. What kind of a range is this? 22? This range is pretty short. And it's got the same range as the Gauss rifle. Let's go ahead and throw the heavy machine gun on instead of the electro laser. And then we should be cool. So I think I had started a thought earlier that I never finished. Um, things like this, like this little Wardock Sis. Um, kind of like Warlord Outpost um, you know, shop thing. Like, do they exist on like the lower bounds of the map, or do they kind of concentrate towards the upper side? I just don't know. Oh, these seem this seems ominous. Bunch of slightly broken robots beyond repair. There's a bunch of purple around. That's ominous as well. Because there's a beast. They take thermal damage pretty well. They don't take electromagnetic damage and they're immune to critical strikes. And if we run away from them, they will just kind of follow and shoot their guns through the walls. So, do we think we can take him? I don't think so. I really want to get through the next section. Let's see. What are our options? We can go around and down. Um, we could go around and up, but like, I don't know what's up there. There might be some walls. I think we need to go around and down. Oops. That way is going to take us right up past him. 
So let's go a little bit farther this way. Hopefully we can find the exit, yep, and bypass anything super crazy. Uh, this was super crazy, and we're leaving. Okie dokie. All right, we're in the second half of the lower caves. Um, I actually like being able to kind of pinpoint where we are. This is something you could totally do before these walls were in place, like being able to see these walls. But uh, you would basically just kind of scroll until you could scroll no more. So this is good. These guys are little derelict pack rat gatherers. We don't need much from them. Let's see what this prototype energy gun is. It's an improved EM shotgun. That is pretty cool, but odds are we will be fighting at range in here rather than in close quarters. Which actually means, well, yeah. The only EM weapon we have is that shotgun. Um, just because there, you can't like do the doorway tactic in the caves because there is no doorway. Um, in my experience, the lower caves are, at least the second half, are much more difficult, at least for me. Keep an eye on our stuff. Um, this is kind of just a little trick. Well, if you do it correctly with the rocket launcher and stuff like that, if you shoot the walls, um, you're more likely to actually hit your target instead of just go past it. There we go. Let's see, we actually could use a backup engine because this one's about to go. And we're going to pick up all of that lovely, lovely matter. And we're going to keep going. I'm going to have to talk to some people in the group, uh, the Discord group, about cave tactics, um, because it seems to me like most of the interesting stuff lives um, at the top of the caves, um, and if it's just advantageous to kind of stay towards the top of the caves instead of going low, um, I tend to go low. All right, world map confirmed. That is just bad luck. This is the third derelict log that has told me where Zion is. Um, broken beyond repair, broken beyond repair. Beyond repair. It's a melee analysis suite. This one is broken beyond repair too. It doesn't do anything to just keep running into them. Um, and this is a heavy assault rifle. Okay, let's pick this up. We did see our makeshift terrain scanner doing some work, showing us where the where the walls are. Um, that's actually another really cool feature from Beta 5 is if you look kind of close, all of these kind of scanned ones that came from our terrain scanner are green instead of brown. And that's just to indicate that we've sensed that they're there, but we haven't actually seen them, which is super cool. Uh, gives it a nice, nice kind of look to it. So this might be really nice. We've got 
terrain scan processor. So these things will increase our terrain scanning density. Um, I think I want to pick one up so that when we get more utility slots we can use it. Uh, but what do I want to drop in return? I'm probably going to drop the particle charger if we're honest, but I want to make sure that I equip it first just in case it's something I've never equipped before. Alright, we're going to put our heat sink back on because we are using a thermal weapon and we're just going to grab this guy for later. It would be useful in here, but uh, since I'm using a, a beam caster, I really don't want to get hot. What is... What is making this... See how this is as yellow? That means it's... Like, got increased attack power. Is that like leftover from the the particle charger? Increases energy gun damage by 20%. No stack. Okay, we pull that off this back on. That's fine. What if we put the electro laser on? 1618. 1618. Put the beam caster back on. 2022. Okay. So that's pretty interesting. Um, I'll have to um, submit that to Kizrati and see if it is a bug. And what was this? Improved particle charger. Okay. This gladiator is broken beyond repair. Oh, there's some dirty bomb traps around here. We have to be very careful. And by very careful, I mean hope and pray. So that's about as much as you can do when it comes to sensing traps. We got an energy discharge from our corruption. Which is unfortunate. Mm, something crazy went on down here. Uh, dirty bomb trap. Who is this guy? What, is, what does he do? It's just a bug. So we could pick up a couple if we wanted to. Um, I'm actually going... Have you seen a researcher around here? I tracked it to these parts before it suddenly disappeared. I wonder what it's up to all by itself, too. Huh. Interesting. I think I'm going to drop this improved DM shotgun. I just don't think it's good enough. But we're going we're gonna to attach this guy. Let's see, what is it going to be right here? Item is not attachable. Oh, you just dropped it on the ground then? Did the researcher blow itself up? Is that what we're assuming here? We might be. This is to Zion, but I kind of want to see if there's... Any secrets with this researcher? Another, ooh, an improved heat sink. I'll take that. That's what I wanted. I don't think we're at a point where we might die before we get into Zion. 
So you don't really have a problem doing a little bit of extra exploring. Um, and actually at this point, we're going to go ahead and equip that improved terrain scan processor instead of the heatsink. So we just wait here. That should fill in pretty quickly, right? So we can just see that there's not a whole lot up there. Tell me your secrets. I think this, the secret was that he blew himself up. I don't think there's much more for us here. Might be wrong though. Doesn't really look like it though. Okay. Hmm. I kind of wondered if something like that would happen. Uh, let's get this guy up here. Oops, we blew up a little bit of ourselves, Which is unfortunate, just the treads. Let's go ahead and throw on these guys. Um, we should be able to pick up uh, well, not, it's fried. All right, let's go back to the, let's go out to Zion. That's what we what we really came here for. Zion. We have a dirty bomb too. We can probably use that to kill a programmer later. Mm -hmm.